my personal thoughts on Tyson Fury, or not Tyson Fury, gosh, Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. It's gonna be interesting. I'm excited that we're seeing a quick turnaround from Jake Paul. Uh, yeah, I'm excited we're actually seeing such a quick turnaround from him. Uh, by the way, thank you, Louis Vaughn. Shout out to you, Louis Vaughn. Uh, guys, make sure you go subscribe to his YouTube channel because this probably will be a clip on my YouTube channel. But thank you so much for asking that question, obviously. But I, I'm happy that Jake's going and taking a fight quickly back to back. He's showing that he is a real boxer. Bo real boxer. I don't know if he is a real boxer, but you know what I'm saying. He's trying to be a real boxer. And, uh,. I mean, Tommy's not anything amazing. Obviously, I'm going to be going for Tommy. And as the fight gets closer and closer, I'll put out a breakdown video, breaking down my thoughts. Having to, I'm going to have to go back and look at Tommy Fury's fights. But, you know, he was just too hesitant in his last fight. And, you know, if we're, li we're to listen to his, his dad, that he kind of panics on that stage. It's, what's it going to be like when he's main eventing a fight night, a fight card, when he is... 8-0 as a pro and is not used to the spotlight, 7-0, 9-0, I don't remember exactly what it is, but undefeated with under 10 fights as a pro, headlining a card when meanwhile Jake Paul is used to that, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, right now I'm leaning Paul because I picked against him every time he's fought, and uh, that, it just hasn't happened like that, man. I picked against him and he's won, so right now I feel like I feel like he he has to I feel like I got to pick Paul, man. Uh yeah, it's it's a good Christmas present. Like Louis Vaughn put in the chat, man. You guys got to join these Twitch streams too cuz they're a ton of fun if you're not in the Twitch stream and you're watching this on a clip. But uh yeah. <laughs> I uh I got to take I got to take Paul right now, but also I just need to learn more about Fury. You know, you know, there's a size difference there, and, and it almost seems like Fury's bigger. Is Jake Paul going to cut down? Is Jake Paul going to cut weight? He was a high school wrestler, but, you know, the, the, the boxing weight cut compared to a wrestling weight cut is different in the sense that, you know, when you're wrestling or doing jiu-jitsu in high school, you know, whatever it is, whatever sport you're doing in high school where you're cutting weight, and it's a team thing like wrestling where it's a team thing, but then you're also on your own for that weight cut, kind of. Uh... You, know, you get advice from your coaches and stuff, but it's different. High school wrestling, I hope Jake was not cutting 10, 20 pounds, but he definitely probably will be cutting like 10 pounds um, for the Fury fight, unless he brings Fury up. And, and if so, he brings Fury up into a weight class that Fury's not supposed to be at. He's He fights at like 179. Jake Paul fights at like 190. So, it, or sorry, he fights at 180. Jake Paul fights at like 190. At least I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correct. So it'll be an interesting fight, but... Uh, yeah, right now I'm leaning Paul, and it's just because you can't pick against him, man. It's it's a good Christmas present. Louis Vaughn, thank you for uh, the question.